Joseph Wall gets the start tonight in Nashville as the Leafs are on the second half of back-to-back. And Mitch Marner is playing his 500th game tonight. Let's talk about it. Before I get started talking about tonight's game, I just wanted to quickly mention that the HockeyCast podcast, the pilot episode, is in the description of this video. So go check it out, subscribe anywhere you listen to podcasts and uh, get ready because I'm going to start uploading, I think once a week for now, maybe twice a week, but uh, we'll see how it goes. These are the pilot episodes uh, for the remainder of this year and into the playoffs. Then once summer hits and hockey's completely over, that's when season one is going to start for the HockeyCast podcast. So uh, Nashville, it's filled with Leafs fans. You can hear them right from the drop of the puck. Uh, they're just cheering on the Leafs, and uh, it was it was really something. It felt like a home game. Uh, the Predators were really unhappy with their last game and the outcome of it, and they came out at a blistering pace. But the Leafs, you know, they were handling it. Uh, they looked a little slow at the beginning. But uh, I just had a question about TJ Brody. He's done this more than once. Uh, and a couple of times, it's ended up with a bad result. So he's up high on the blue line. He receives a pass in the uh, offensive zone. And instead of passing to his alternatives, as, there, as a def- there's a player coming out challenging him, he decides to just wind up and blast it right at him. And uh, it and he blocks it. The guy's like four feet in front of him and he blocks it and it goes out of the zone. So now everybody has to come out before they come back in. And, you know, a couple of times Brody's done that and uh, the player blocking the shot has uh, really come and, and gone right past him and gets a breakaway, but not tonight, but it has happened in the past. He's got to make better decisions with the puck. I know he wants to really make things happen in there, especially when the Leafs are controlling the offensive zone, but sometimes you have to make the safer play, like all the time, especially in the playoffs. There is no cheating in the playoffs. You can't do a cute pass just because it's, you know, it might turn into something. You have to work harder. You have to put on your work boots and you have to work. That means no cheating like that. So, Make the safe play. Let the guys re uh, regain uh, the puck in the corner. So about halfway through the first, the Leafs managed to get their feet under them. And uh, it was pretty much looking the same as last night, the way they were playing. Uh, Matthews, he just misses the yawning cage as he had to reach back to accept a pass from Marner. Um And by the way, he needs three more goals for another 40-goal season. And right now, he has eight goals in his last nine games. The Leafs get on the power play um, near the end of the first, and it was uh, Tic Tac Tavares. And he's got 150 as a Leaf, 150 points. It was a really uh, great play that started with uh, Marner, then Matthews, and up into Tavares. So it it was a really good... uh, Really good power play. It's one that we've all seen before, uh, and it works more times than not, especially, you know, tonight when it was just so clean, all those three passes. Coming into the second, um, Kerfoot gets a pass, a lead pass, flies down his opposite wing and scores. Then the Leafs are on the penalty kill, and... uh, Wow, this game, really noticeable, and it really picked up at that point when the Leafs were on the uh, penalty kill. Wall with some spectacular saves. He was playing like a veteran out there, and even the announcers were saying tonight uh, that he was just playing with such calm, and he was very composed. The Leafs uh, taking the body uh, at every turn or every opportunity. Hall, he was really surprising tonight with a huge hit in the neutral zone. He completely just forgets about the puck, and drives right through Asplund. It was amazing. It just blew him up big time in the neutral zone. It was really nice to see Hall deliver those kinds of checks. 
I hope he does it more often. He's capable of doing it. He's a big body out there. Let's get going and let's get doing those kinds of things, Hall, because that's when you're at your best. So uh, shortly thereafter, the power play, the Leafs um, get one after a trip on Matthews. And then uh, a bit later, Tavares gets hit in the hand with a shot and goes straight to the dressing room. And, it, you know, it was it looked like bad news. It looked like O'Reilly all over again. Uh, he didn't come out for the rest of the second. And, you know, I was thinking the worst here. Shen really set an example out there with big punishing hits. And Hall seems to be following that lead. And uh, it looks great. It really sn it snuffs the play out. And... It really makes the offensive players coming into our zone really think twice about going into that corner when you got Shen cleaning up the hits and even Hall is following suit with big punishing hits. Then in the third, Tavares comes back out and it's like a sigh of relief. Hopefully everything is good, but he was back for the third. So um, hopefully no worse for wear at that point. The least forwards doing a good job collapsing in front of their own net uh, to cover for the defense that are battling for the puck behind the net. So they saved a couple of uh, interceptions. There are a couple of opportunities where uh, Nashville could have potted in a puck in close, but uh, the forwards coming back and tying up those guys in front of the net so that Wall could have better eyes on the puck as it went out to the point. At this point, Shen has six hits in the game. Tavares takes a penalty to save a two-on-one. Uh, the puck got away from him. He was one of the last players back on, on the offensive blue line and basically just, you know, jumps and throws a shoulder into the guy and kind of falls over with him um, and takes a penalty. But if he hadn't have done that, it would have definitely been a breakaway for the, uh, for the Preds. So, he potentially saved a goal, but, you know, at the end of the day, on the power play, the Preds scored. But then, right after that, Nylander takes a, a high stick in the face and draws a, penal a power play. Tavares scores on the power play and totally redeems himself after taking one uh, that ended up in his own net uh, a couple of minutes previous. Then the Preds get a rush. Wall, completely with a timely save. It was absolutely astounding, the, the saves that he was making. And he was really battling in there tonight and making second and third uh, chance saves on rebounds and passes across. It was absolutely a clinic on his part. Especially when he the last time he played up with the Leafs, it, it was a little bit of time ago, and then he's been down at the AHL uh, really playing well down there. So it was really good to see him having a good game tonight. Uh, at the end of it all, the Leafs hang on to win 3-2. Again, I want to reiterate, it was a tremendous game for Wall and Hall. <laughs> it was really good for both of those guys to really have a strong game. Uh, Hall, I'm really impressed with Hall. Um, I stuck with him for the most part this entire season as fans were just ripping him apart. Uh, you know, even tonight he had a bad bounce off him and it went in on Wall. You know, those things, there's nothing you can do about it. You try and get in front to block it. If you don't get it all, you know, there is that chance of it running into your net. But uh, if he just keeps playing his game by finishing checks, really finish those those hard checks. And if he does that and they limit his ice time, he'll be fine. He'll really do well, especially, you know, getting some pointers and, and guidance from Shen. I think that's really going to help him out a lot down this stretch and into the playoffs. So, you know, I won't be surprised if Hall is in the top six in the playoffs for the defense. The Leafs are now seven points up on the Lightning. It looks like they've locked in uh, pretty much second place in the division and will have home ice advantage for the, uh, the first round. So uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and select the bell notification so that you can be notified every time a video is uploaded. I appreciate you, and thanks for watching.